It's the Connor Happer Show. Are we sure we want to do this? Uh, could you, like, make an announcement that we're ready? It's the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. All right, welcome in. Happy Thursday. It's the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone and on 1620thezone.com. Connor Happer, Josh Hodson with you. A lot of things going on yesterday. As Josh texted me yesterday afternoon, the or yesterday evening, the the perfect two guests to recap our sports events of the day. Really broke right for us today. Really did. Uh, set up well. Jacob Padilla will join at the top of the hour to talk about the return of Ryan Kalkbrenner to Creighton just a day after he enters his name officially enters his name into the draft and had a little fun on Twitter yesterday, which was uh, which was good to see. A lot of fun. Uh, so we'll talk about that uh, independently, and then also with Jacob at eleven o'clock. Uh, Michael Brunts, who covers Nebraska baseball for Husker two four seven, will join to talk about Nebraska baseball's no hitter last night. I want to get into that here in just a second. That's the lineup powered by the Rooferees at John Higgins Weather Guard. Want to hear from you guys? 402 951 1620 on the 42 degrees the source hotline. You could call or text that number. Twitter at Happer Show at Connor Happer on the JTech Constructions on Twitter feed email Connor Josh Show at 1620thezone.com on the Equitable Bank Zone inbox. We say good morning to our uh, YouTube streaming audience today, whether it's on YouTube slash 1620thezone TV or Conveniently located a click away on our website, 1620thezone.com. We welcome you this morning. Please join us. Join in the fun and frivolity. Please do. Get in on the chat with your weird takes. Got a lot going on. Those got are a, our people. Got a lot going on in there. Never know what you're going to mix it up about in the chat. So uh, send those our way. Uh, to Lincoln from last night, where I'd like to make a declaration. Okay. That college baseball is the funniest sport we have. Hmm. What do you think? How's it sitting with you? NBA is pretty funny. NBA is pretty funny. A lot of a lot of good comedy in the NBA. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Maybe college baseball is the mo- most nonsensical sport that we have. Last night was pretty rando. Pretty good example. Uh, Nebraska got a complete game no hitter. Last night, out of Jackson Brockett. All kids are named Jackson. All kids are named Jackson now, as we've previously declared on this show. Uh, the University of Nebraska baseball team has not gotten a nine inning no hitter by one single person since 1954. That's a long time ago. 54. Uh, it's their first individual hitter since night, individual no hitter, rather. Since 1981, when Anthony Kelly did it against Oklahoma, I believe that was seven innings. And it was Nebraska's second ever nine inning individual no hitter joining Richard Geyer's no hitter, not Richard Gear, Richard Geyer. Oh, okay, okay. In 1954 against the Kansas Jayhawks. Uh, Nebraska last threw a no hitter combined. Mm in 2013 against Arkansas. That was also pretty random. That yes. was also pretty random. This one, more random. Because you see, people were wondering about Jackson Brockett. Where is Jackson Brockett? He's pitched a little bit this year. He hasn't pitched in several weeks at this point. Five innings, five and a third, I believe. Five and a third going into the start last night. Nebraska needed somebody desperately to get them like nine outs less. Give me, give me nine outs and get us to the next thing. We need to get off the schneid here in the midweek. What's that? Nine innings. Okay. We got to find a way. Give me, can you give me three innings? Can you give me nine outs somewhere? Somebody's going to have to pick us up. Just like Caleb Clark picked them up a little bit against uh, Creighton on Tuesday. And Jackson Brockett said, what? I didn't hear that correctly. Let me just throw a no hitter out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, one of the most insane things. I, I mean, I, I wasn't watching live, admittedly, and I, I, I'm sure most of you, most of you weren't. Although the you, you kids didn't fire on the, up the big plus, uh, the kids on the BCN plus did a nice job last night. Yeah, good call, good they, call. They the, did, the, they did the a nice ends. job, and so um, I, I heard a couple of the calls later on, and it was like you know it was going to happen. I kept checking in. Yep, 
Jackson Brockett just threw a no hitter out of absolutely nowhere. I am completely floored. It makes no sense whatsoever. And, and it actually changes Nebraska baseball's kind of outlook. They got a midweek win. Now you feel good about yourself. Can you carry the momentum into the weekend is obviously, you know, the, the key question here. It gets them a nice RPI win. They're up to 20 in the RPI. 20. 20. 2-0 in the RPI. By the way, it helped Creighton a little bit as well. Got them up a spot to 49, but that doesn't really matter for them anymore. They just have to win enough conference games to get into the tournament. Feel free to win out, Blue Jays. K-State RPI currently 36. And uh, so Nebraska got the 8 nothing victory last night. They go to Minnesota this weekend. And all of a sudden with that, and if you take care of business in your three remaining conference series, and theoretically you will against your one remaining midweek game against South Dakota State next Wednesday, um, you now can be in position, I think, to host again. Here's one thing that I, you know, we talked we talked about, Nebraska, I was just yesterday recapping the Creighton Nebraska game. Like, I don't know if I like them as a host. Um, it doesn't. You know, with you got these problems in the in the midweek and um, you know, all the stuff. And they were kind of they were kind of sliding a little bit, even though they took two out of three against Iowa and two out of three against Maryland, but they lost the, the midweek games to Kansas and Creighton, and it just didn't feel like they lost two out of three to Rutgers. It just didn't feel like it was trending in the right direction for them. Here comes the stopper, Jackson Brockett. All right. Everybody's fresh for the weekend Every- against a not great minnesota team it's baseball anything can yeah happen, you're ahead of the game though yeah you're ahead of the game and it sets you up pretty well for this weekend and then you know you you kind of piggyback off of that i will i will say this there is and i think farron mentioned this uh when john was asking him about it on uh, monday or tuesday hi mike farron yeah farron. farron's got takes on college baseball by the way he should um he, he made the point and i think it's a, an astute one that in the selection process of when you're looking for NCAA regional hosts, um, you will like you won't you don't want the map to be entirely in the southeast. Mm-hmm. So Nebraska kind of represents the team at the moment. Who I mean, I can read you all the teams in the top in the top twenty ish of the RPI. I'm looking at D1 baseball's regional projections from yesterday. What does it say? Uh, it's got Nebraska as the two seed in Norman, but I'm looking at the hosts, and it's A&M, Oklahoma, Arkansas, UC Santa Barbara, Clemson, Okie State, Tennessee, Duke, Kentucky, yeah. Virginia, North Carolina. Are you noticing a trend? There's this? a big blob in yeah. the southeast uh-huh. and then a little, bull, a couple bullet points in the west. Terre Haute hosting as it stands right and now. And so the Nebraska and Indiana State are kind of representative of the mm-hmm. Midwest teams who are in that conversation right now. And so Nebraska will probably be a team who gets a little bit of a bump because you do want to spread it out a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Like if if they are if they are even just marginally qualified to host a regional, um, I think that'd be a great. You know, the, the NCA would really like to do that. Now there might be a real doozy of a two seed coming to your region if you right if if, if right. everything shifts. But you your goal is to host a regional. You're going to have to beat a tough team eventually. <laughs> your goal is to host a regional. Then you, you get to your goal. One of your goals of Hosting a regional um, at, at Haymarket Park. It changes everything. I mean, it, it really does. It's amazing. Out of absolutely nowhere, just completely changes the outlook um, for Nebraska baseball, not only from the pitching standpoint, but also from the team standpoint. So, yeah, number one, congratulations to Jackson Brockett. I mean, at, once again, I am completely floored. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. The college baseball is the whole, most hilarious sport of all time and the most nonsensical sport that we have right now and uh so you can get stuff like that that happens on a random wednesday night when you're just trying to piece together something to get a midweek win eh, let's get a no hitter and win eight nothing how'd i do coach <laughs> was that okay was that good enough yes yes jackson it was <laughs> i wondered if he was still on the team he pitched a little bit over the last couple of seasons it's like where where where'd he go here he is tossing a little Midweek no hitter against Kansas State. Um, let's see, John on the Equitable Bank inbox. Hi, John. When a 
pitcher that had thrown four pitches on the season gets a nine inning no hitter, then yes, college baseball is the funniest sport. It was a couple more than four pitches, but five and a third innings. It's the uh, first start of the year. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. Jordan on YouTube. Hi, Jordan on YouTube. KSU, handshake meme, JMSE. <laughs> Yeah, just as it was a tough look for that stupid softball team, it was a tough look for K-State last night. Both have been no hit by a team from Lincoln. Although I will say it's a lot easier to get no hit in baseball than it is in slow-pitch softball, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, We will will come back and uh, a couple things to get into. Uh, Matt D. Marinas checks in, by the way, on Twitter. He says it'd be funny... If you had Brunts talk about Kalkbrenner and then make Jacob analyze the no hitter, <laughs> we'll try and do that. It would be a good. We'll yeah. try. We'll try and do that. Uh, Jacob will join us at the top of the hour. More to come on the Connor Hamper Show on sixteen twenty The Zone. Now live on Twitch, YouTube, and sixteen twenty The Zone.com. <laughs> 